Yo, what's up guys, it's Johnny Fraze. I just got this in the mail, and inside this envelope is what I believe fighting gamers have been waiting for for quite some time. Let's find out what it is. Now this is the Wingman FGC. It's Brooks' latest converter that allows non-compatible controllers to work with Sony's PS5. Now, before we get into this, let's talk about the state of the FGC for a moment. Lately, we've seen fighting game players shift from console to PC, especially when COVID-19 hit and we were all stuck at home. The fighting game community thrived on online tournaments and playing on PC offered a more optimal experience across the board and honestly, even sometimes better than offline. Most players were simply able to connect their current controllers to their PCs, therefore not having a need to buy a new one. But with the release of the PlayStation 5 in 2020, we noticed that native PS5 games reject controllers that are not officially supported. With offline events coming back in full swing, major tournaments like EVO are now transitioning to using the PlayStation 5 as a platform of choice for their events. For example, Street Fighter 6 will be ran on PlayStation 5. So that means that players looking to compete offline will now need a PlayStation 5 compatible controller. Now there's already some new products announced from companies like Hori, Comba. However, the price tags also reflect today's economy. So here's where the Wingman FGC comes in. Brook claims it will convert most wired controllers to work on PlayStation 5 fighting games. Let me rephrase that, PS5 fighting games. Now apparently there's also a full featured Wingman in the works that will allow us to use a variety of controllers wirelessly for all games, not just fighting games, but for now, Brook decided to jump the gun and release the Wingman FGC for fighting game players to catch that early wave of PS5 RAN events. So I went ahead and plugged in random controllers that I have laying around in the studio to test out, and here's some of the results. Alright, first up, we plugged in the OG Mad Cats TE for the PS3, and that worked out really well. Next up, the 360 version of Mad Cats' Fight Pad. Once again, this ended up working pretty well. All right, oddball here. This is the Raspberry Pi Pico fighting board. Wasn't sure if this was gonna work, but amazingly it worked. Another popular pad, Hori's Fighting Commander in PS4 mode. Plug this bad boy in and worked like a charm. You guys were wondering, all of Brooks' other PCBs worked fine with the Wingman FGC. Now we also had to connect the good old DualShock 4 and it does work, however, it does not work wirelessly. You need to plug it in wired. Now, to my surprise, the Switch Pro Controller worked perfectly fine. I was pleasantly surprised. Also had to plug in the Xbox Series X S controller, and that worked perfectly fine as well. Now, the next one, to be honest, I really wasn't sure what was gonna happen. This is RetroBits reproduction Sega Saturn pad and I had doubts but apparently yeah I mashed and it worked I was really really surprised godlike damn next up we plugged in the junk food arcade first generation snack box micro the one that only works on PlayStation 4 and it worked just fine okay the only thing I had trouble with was hitbox's cross up now, for some reason, it just didn't like what was going on with the cross-ups PCBs. However, the stock hitbox works fine. Now, the Wingman FGC also shares some of the features the other Wingman have, such as turbo, being able to remap your buttons, firmware updates. And if you guys are worried about lag, it's basically undetectable. Definitely nothing to worry about as far as lag. Brooke is looking at $50 a US for the Wingman FGC, and they're trying to launch it before Street Fighter VI, so maybe late May, early June. Now to wrap things up, I feel like this is gonna be a good utility if you own a PlayStation 5 and maybe you have a bunch of old controllers like I do laying around that you still wanna to continue to use and still have some functionality. And I definitely feel it's gonna be useful for competitive fighting game players just looking for that PlayStation 5 compatibility. Maybe they use PC as their main setup and when they go to EVO, for instance, they can just pick one of these up and still play on that controller that they're used to. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about the Wingman FGC. If you're gonna wait for the full featured Wingman, if you're just gonna buy a PlayStation 5 controller, or are you gonna pick it up? You guys know what to do. Hit that sub button, hit the bell notifications for more fighting game tech related videos. Once again, it's your boy JF. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.